in this video we will discuss about structure and function of phloem phloem is vascular tissue what is tissue tissue is group of similar cells which perform similar function when all the cells are of same type this is called as simple tissue but when this is made up of many kinds of cells this is called as complex tissue and when it is permanent mean differentiation has taken place and this has become permanent this is called as complex permanent tissue now phloem is vascular tissue vascular tissue is of two type xylem and phloem for studying the xylem you can click the video link is shared in the description box xylem helps in conduction of water and minerals and phloem is responsible for the translocation of nutrients or food to various parts of the plant now food is manufactured in the green parts of the plant or major part is synthesized in the leaves part of the plant which is green in color can do photosynthesis and it can manufacture the food for the plant so this is also called as source the parts of the plant which are not green in color like root system or developing new leaves like this is the shoot apex where we can see uh, these are the primordia leaf primordia which are arising so these young leaves which are just originating they also need food for their development flower fruit and seeds which are developing and growing they need food and that will be provided from the source that is from the green parts of the plant and part of the plant which receive the food from these parts they are called as sink so source is supplying to the sink and this food is being translocated from source to sink with the help of tissue called as phloem so phloem helps in translocation of the food to various parts of the plant now we can see here in this figure this is the plant hypothetically i have made a plant this is its main stem these are its branches and this is the leaf which is arising and this is the root system of the plant and we can see in whole of the plant uh, this, there is interconnection of the vascular tissue in red by red this i have shown xylem tissue and this slightly orangish i have shown the phloem tissue so this is spreading throughout the plant and this is the source or leaf or any part of the plant which is green in color this will synthesize food and that food will be translocated to the phloem tissue and water will be taken from the xylem tissue and that food will be translocated to the various parts of the plant with the help of phloem this will be also translocated downwardly towards the roots of the plant that is of the non green part of the plant in this diagram i have shown this is the xylem and this part is phloem so that you can understand how this is being translocated to various parts of the plant we can see here like this now we'll discuss about structure of this phloem tissue phloem is a complex permanent tissue and this is made up of many kinds of cells sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers we can see here in this figure these are the sieve tubes and these sieve tubes they are placed one upon each other like this these are sieve tubes and they are separated at places by means of sieve plate now this is sieve plate if it has a single perforation this is called as simple sieve plate like in this uh, figure i have shown these are the sieve tubes which are placed one upon each other in the young stage they have cytoplasm plus nucleus and this part is called as central vacuole this is central vacuole which is rich in albuminous material and viscous material now at maturity this cytoplasm is lost even nucleus is lost and sieve tubes they become enucleated their walls are thickened so they will not collapse during translocation of the food material so they are placed one upon each other and separated by means of sieve plates which are perforated here by means of sieve pores these are sieve pores 
second important kind of cells present in the phloem they are companion cells as the name indicate they are companions of the sieve tubes so these companion cells will assist the sieve tubes and third kind of cells they are phloem fibers so these are phloem fibers we can see they are pointed at both the ends and their walls they are thickened this is this thickening is due to deposition of the lignin this is also called as lignification so they provide mechanical support to the plant uh, to the phloem tissue and they will also resist the collapsing of the sieve tubes during translocation of the food material the next kind of cell is phloem parenchyma these cells are they are living rich in cytoplasm thin wall and we have now four kind of cells one is sieve tubes second is phloem parenchyma companion cell and phloem fibers now in this figure i have shown when it has many perforations sieve plate has many perforation this is called as compound sieve plate when it has single perforation this is simple when it has many perforation this is called as compound sieve plate now if we cut a longitudinal section of the phloem we can see these are the sieve tubes which are placed one upon each other like we discussed sieve plate sieve tubes they are placed one upon each other they are more uh, longer than their breadth and they are separated by means of sieve plates now these sieve plates this is sieve plate this can be simple this can be compound and this is associated with the companion cells now this companion cells they are living in nature they are rich in cytoplasm they have big nucleus they are also rich in cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi body plastids and ribosomes but their wall is thin and made up of cellulose their main function is to assist the sieve tubes for the translocation of the food and they are connected with the sieve tubes by these simple bitter thickenings or by plasmotesmetal connection so they remain continuation with the sieve tubes uh, now these sieve tubes are also assisted and controlled by companion cell because in companion cells there is active protein synthesis compartmentalization is also visible in the companion cell under the electron microscope so they help they actively participate or they actively assist the sieve tubes for the translocation of the food material next kind of cells they are phloem parenchyma these are again thin walled cells rich in cytoplasm nucleus they are living and their function is whatever food is extra that will be stored in the phloem parenchyma and whenever this will be required this can move to the sieve tube so phloem parenchyma they help in storage of the food materials so this is sieve tubes separated by sieve plate and these are sieve pores companion cells and phloem parenchyma this is when we cut the longitudinal section of the phloem and if we cut transverse section of the phloem we can see the structure of phloem in this way these are sieve tubes they will be visible like this and these are sieve plates with sieve pores companion cells phloem parenchyma and these are phloem fibers now these fibers they are highly thickened and they provide uh, strength and support to the phloem tissue now we'll discuss about functions of the phloem tissue as we have discussed sieve tubes they will help in translocation of the food material from the leaves to the non green parts of the plant and companion cells they assist the sieve tubes in translocation of the food material they also get connected to the sieve tubes by plasmotesmetal connection or simple pitted thickenings and they control the activity of the sieve tubes they are living cells companion cells are also living cells like sieve tubes they lose nucleus and cytoplasm and maturity they become dead cells but companion cells and phloem parenchyma they are living cells now these cells store food material in the form of starch sometimes in the form of protein also and in the form of fats uh, phloem fibers they will they will provide strength mechanical support rigidity and in many of the cases now these fibers can be separated and they are of great economic value they are used commercially in the industries for the manufacture of many products so this is all about phloem tissue structure and its functions if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment box thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed my video please like share and subscribe